Welcome back. It's the start of 10 a.m. on day three, which is actually also the last day. And we're back to Gabriel. So, you're up. Yeah, kinda inevitable. So, did you have breakfast? Uh, no, but I think I'll go down. I mean, while you shower and all that. I'll, I'll just get out of your hair, Hello? so... Hello? Did, uh, did somebody die? Hey, Mose. Yeah, hi. What's up? Does anyone else hear Twilight Zone music, or, or is it just me? What's this? Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Where'd you find it? Our friend Larry Chester buried it last night. Or should I say, Larry Sinclair. Sinclair, huh? Son of a bitch. It's about the Stuart bloodline. Did you read it then? I just skimmed it. I've been working on the treasure oh. map. Well, would you mind reading it? I've got to figure out why Sinclair lied, and why he felt compelled to play Jolly Roger last night. Say, I'll read it, you know, if you're busy with the map, that is. Grace will do it. Why the hell are you so interested anyway? Just trying to be helpful. Jeez, fine. I'll just go. Wait. Um, Grace, I'll grab a shower later, so, uh, you know, the room's all yours. God! Get a grip, Matt. Ugh. Christ, you retard! This better not be about what I think it's about. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'm going to my room. Come by later if you want to talk about it. Okay, so... Seems like... Grace and Gabriel aren't going to discuss what happened last night. Yeah, that's healthy. Sounds like we can talk to um, talk to Mosley about it, though. But first, I'm a little bit more interested in what's going on here. Why did Sean and Roxanne go into this room? Maybe we can oh, overhear it. I tell it. you, Jean, I feel it. Something is wrong. Perhaps Monsieur Winx spends the night with another guest. No, I have already cleaned Mademoiselle Butan's room, and where else could he have been? The American girl stays with her boss. As for the Lady Howard and Estelle... Hmm. Enough, Roxanne. Lock the door and touch nothing. We shall see if Monsieur Wilkes returns. Uh, uh, oui, Jean. Wilkes has gone missing? Oui, Monsieur Knight? I noticed y'all coming in here. Is Mr. Wilkes okay? Oh, I hope so. Shh! Everything is fine, monsieur. Not to worry your head. Roxanne here, she's only the little bit cautious. <laughs> oh, oui. I'm sure everything is fine. Come, come. We will leave the room for monsieur Wilkes' return. Roxanne, back to work. Back to work. And monsieur, thank you for the so kindly made offer of assistance. Hey, no problem. I wonder what's going on. Jean seems unwilling to talk about it, but Roxanne might be more forthcoming, and it seems she's in the storage room and left the door open. Excuse me, Roxanne. Oh, Monsieur Knight, do you need something? I guess a little flirting won't hurt. Say, Roxanne. <laughs> My pants are a little dirty. Would you be able to clean them for me? Oh, <laughs> oui, certainly. Just to leave them with me. Well, gee, I was kind of hoping you'd do it while I wait. Oh, oh, but, 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 monsieur, you would not be wearing any pants. Call me Gabriel. 
Oh, Monsieur Knight, you joke with me, no? Yeah, I'm a getter. Um, okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. Does that actually work? Let's talk about uh, Wilkes. Get to business. About Mr. Wilkes, you know something? I have learned to trust a woman's instincts. You have? Sure. So, what got you upset this morning? Oh, monsieur, I am very afraid for Mr. Wilkes. This morning, his window, it is wide open, and things in his room, they are not right. Usually, I find his night clothes on the floor, yes? But this morning, there is no sign of them, and his razor and toothbrush, they have not been used. It is as if he never got up this morning, yet he is not there. Gee, that sounds bad. Why don't you let me take a look? Uh, I, I don't know. Roxanne, this could be serious. Mr. Wilkes would want us to make sure he's not in any trouble. I agree. That is why I go to Jean. But he thinks I have the big, uh, imagination. Personally, I've learned never to underestimate a woman. <laughs> Monsieur. All right, I will show you. Follow me. Please, Monsieur Knight, if Monsieur Wilkes returns, do not tell him I let you in, yes? I won't. Thanks. Well, it's definitely an easier way to get into the room than um, all the sneaking about with before. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Well, the window's open. It's wide open, all right. Creepy. It reminds me of my dream. But was that a dream? That's the question. I don't see any signs of forced entry on the window. No, but the window kind of opened itself in the dream, or whatever that was, as well. I'd better leave it. Fair enough. Let's see if we can find any clues anywhere. That's as ugly as the one in our room. Yeah, it's also empty. Let's check the bed. The bed looks slept in. So he was here. Maybe. But when did he leave? The springs are a bit overworked. But other than that... If he did sleep here... Well, I guess he could have left during the night. Since um, the night receptionist was asleep when we left. I guess anyone could have gotten out unnoticed. Or he could have jumped out of the window, I don't know. Nothing in there but dirty laundry. Didn't he have more stuff, like the letter, on here? I thought he had more papers and stuff lying around. Hey, that looks just like the one in our... Not much useful, so far. Wilkes's stuff is still here. Yep. Hmm, those towels haven't been used lately. Hmm. Something's going on, but... Can't really tell what. Whatever it was did not leave any clues behind. Which sucks. Okay, I guess we'll take Mosley up on his offer. To talk. Get in here. I'm listening. Well, I really did it this time. I knew it. You did, didn't you? Did you? Yeah. Key Rust! Ah, oh, come on. How about some support here? So what happened anyway? When she left here last night, she didn't want anything to do with you. 
Well, it was an accident. Right. You're the only guy I know who could accidentally end up in bed with the most beautiful woman for 50 miles. What about Madeline? What about Madeline? Shays. You know, you got kind of a reverse rose-colored glasses thing going on. Must be your fear of commitment affecting your optical nerves. Grace is beautiful. She's nice. She's smart. She's funny. You ought to have your head examined. And besides which, I ought to break your neck for hurting her feelings. Did you get a look at her face this morning? No, knock it off. I feel bad enough. I just don't know how to act. I mean, God, she's like my sister or something. Aw. Well, I suppose you could try to talk to her about your feelings, get it all out in the open. Nah. nah. I'll tell you what. Just pretend it never happened. Oh. Really? Just act like nothing happened. Try it. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not an expert on relationships or anything, but this does not sound like a good idea. At all. Okay. Let's talk to Jean quickly about Wilkes. Um, where is Jean going? Have you seen Wilkes yet, Jean? No, monsieur. Have you? No. Oh, I'm sure he'll be popping it up any time now. Yeah, I'm sure. I wonder what happened to the big guy. Emilio's not on his bench. I kind of want to talk to Larry. I'll go get the Harley. See if we can get some truth out of him for a change. Is he even in? I have nothing to say to you. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Sinclair. Perhaps you had better come in. I've learned that you were, in fact, hired by Prince James. Good. But that doesn't excuse your prying into my affairs. You've destroyed my cover. See now. That's the problem with secrets and lies. It's impossible to tell which ones might be relevant until you dig them up and take a good whiff. That's between you and Prince James. But I can tell you that you're treading on thin ice. This is a delicate situation. You might find yourself in very hot water indeed. I'm getting confused. Am I supposed to watch out for thin ice or hot water? Very amusing, I'm sure. We'll see how your cavalier attitude serves you with the prince. Now, what is it that you want? We want to talk about the manuscript and apparently also about Montreux. I wanted to talk to you about your bloodline manuscript. How did you know about that? I followed you last night and dug it up. You what? This is outrageous. I hope you can appreciate my motivation. I was in the room when Prince James's son was taken. There's very little I wouldn't do to find him. I can't fathom why an outsider like you was hired in the first place. It's absurd. But now that you've seen my manuscript, I hope you finally comprehend that I am not the kidnapper. It's not incriminating in that regard, no. Where is the manuscript? You didn't remove it, did you? I didn't think it was good for it, being out in that damp ground and all. You must return it at once. Yeah, uh-huh, I will. But it's at the hotel at the moment, though. Mr. Knight, I suggest you bring it back here immediately. Because if anything happens to that manuscript, Prince James will be very displeased. I will, no problem. 
Sure we will. Prince James implied that the kidnapping was political. Would the manuscript have anything to do with it? It could. There are those who take exception to the idea of Prince James being on the throne. The throne? What throne? Never mind. Throne? The... Does he want to become King of Scotland again? What? Do you know Montreux, the owner of the local vineyard? I know of him, of course. It's a small area. Is he one of yours, by any chance? A Freemason? No. At least he's not Scottish right. Here's what I don't get. Why are you working on the manuscript here? Obviously you don't need the Templar vibes. There's usually one of us in the area, just to keep an eye out. For what? Treasure hunters? For anything. But why you? There is a certain opposition to the manuscript. The work on it was to be done discreetly. And you figured they'd never suspect you'd work on it here. Something like that. Of course, you've quite destroyed my anonymity. Way you go, Gabriel. The manuscript promotes Prince James as king of what? Scotland? Oh, it doesn't promote him as anything, per se. It simply lays out the genealogies. He's clearly the best candidate. Best candidate for what? Are you talking about Scottish independence? No. In our modern world, Scotland is a very small principality indeed. England? The Stuarts have vowed they'd never accept the English throne. Well, what then? It's not for me to say. I have no idea what he's on about. He's not looking too happy today. Gee, I wonder why that is. Maybe because somebody dug up his manus manuscript and blew his uh, cover. Well, I could keep asking him stuff, but I have the feeling he wouldn't tell me anything. I guess we uh, should just leave then. I have to go. As you wish. And apparently there's stuff happening. In places. And stuff. There are a few people around the area for us to uh, notice and observe. For one thing, Lady Howard and Estelle are once again at their site. Doing their thing. Looking for treasure. I think that's Lady Howard and Estelle's moped. Why would they stop here? This place isn't even interesting enough to have a tourist sign. Obviously because they think the treasure is here, based on that book they've been uh, working from. So far, Le Serpent Rouge has um, uncovered no mention of this area, though. So if Le Serpent Rouge is the real key to the treasure, I'm thinking that Howard and Estelle are going to come up blank. I'm also thinking that's going to be bad news for Estelle, because I think probably Lady Howard is going to keep her digging until she hits bedrock. Oh, poor Estelle. She's kind of like a faithful bulldog, isn't she? <laughs> sure. Well, here's a scene of domestic bliss. I'm sure she has a good excuse for not helping her back or whatever. I'm glad I'm not in Estelle's shoes. Morning, ladies. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Oh, just passing by. I see you've narrowed down your theory. Really? Some people haven't the slightest consideration. It's all right, Lily. Bother. It is not. Do you mind, Mr. Knight? Estelle and I are on a private enterprise and we don't need any help or supervision from you. I wasn't offering any. Very well. 
Then be gone. Go on. Pish posh. Well, they don't seem too happy to see us. Looks like Estelle has a bottle of something. It looks like an empty plastic water bottle to me. It's got to be Estelle's. Lady Howard's lips have probably never touched plastic in her life. Sure. Okay, um, I think we'll move on in the next video.